Hi everyone! In this video, what I'd like to do is practice drawing addition polymers, just like we learned in class on Wednesday. And so, remember, polymers are large molecules made up of repeating units called monomers. And when looking at addition polymers, typically these monomers are made out of alkenes. So, when drawing an addition polymer, the first thing you want to do is focus on the two carbons that are making up your alkene, or your double bond. Then what you wind up doing is you draw a bracket, because remember, polymers are really big molecules, and so it's not really possible for us to draw all of the carbons, hydrogens, and heteroatoms of the entire molecule. Rather, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a small segment of this molecule and indicate that it repeats again and again. So what I like to do is take a look at your two carbon atoms making up your alkene, and draw them inside your brackets. I then take a look at any sigma or single bonds attached to the alkene and attach them as well. In a polymer, especially an addition polymer, what winds up happening is, is that our pi bond of our alkene is what's used to make bonds to the next bonding unit, to the, to the next uh, monomer in the polymer sequence. And so what we're going to do is take each of the carbon atoms, which initially made up our uh, alkene monomer, and draw a bond towards the next monomer in the chain. Then to indicate that this repeating unit goes on again and again and again and again, what we do is we use a subscript here, n, where n indicates that this um, is a repeating unit, and in most cases for polymers, n is very big. And so an important check that you can do to ensure that you've done this correctly is to take a look at your uh, molecular formula of both your monomer and your repeating unit of a polymer. In the case of an addition polymer, both of these will wind up being the same. So in this case, our monomer has one, two, three, four, five carbons. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hydrogens. We can do then the same thing for our repeating unit of our polymer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hydrogens. And the fact that we do see the same molecular formula is a pretty good indication that we've done this correctly. So let's practice another one um, to really hone these skills in for the quiz. And so again, your monomer down here is this alkene. So what I'd like you to do actually is pause the video, give this a try, and when you've got an answer, hit play so that way you can check your answer. Okay, everyone done? Here's how I approach again a problem like this. I start by drawing out brackets to house our repeating unit. I then draw in two dots to indicate which carbons are forming our alkene. And I connect them with a single bond. I then draw in the rest of the single bonds to ensure that we haven't changed our sigma framework. Drawing it up, drawing the cyclopentane ring down here. A little squished, but that's okay. And then what I'm going to do is, where these two carbons are initially formed the alkene, I'm going to form a bond to the next monomer unit in our polymer. Finally, to indicate that we have uh, really a long chain of these monomers strung together to form our polymer, I'm going to add a subscript N to indicate that this goes on and on. So finally, what we want to do is we want to perform our check. And so let's take a look at the molecular formula of both our monomer and our polymer. So our monomer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C8. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So C8, H14. And then we can do the same thing for our polymer repeating unit. One, two, three, excuse me. One, two, three, plus five carbons here winds up giving us eight, so C8. And then counting all of our hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Leaving, with, leaving us with what we had expected, the same molecular formula for both our polymer um, repeating unit and our monomer. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, happy studying.